Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minimalist Campers and welcome to Quebec. We've been in Quebec for uh, months now and well we haven't been doing any videos but here we go. It is springtime and we were ready to eat outside and go back into our camping experience. So many places to discover. And it's the springtime so it's time to detoxify and cleanse the body eating more greens, eating more healthy vegetables to help move out and flush out all of that heaviness from the winter. So I hope you're ready to eat these amazing meals with us. So today what we have for you is uh, nice curried vegetables uh, that we're going to be making for you. So let me gather my things. So we have this really cool concept in case you want to go camping or just for a picnic for the day. So what we've done is actually we've prepared the meal inside first to make it simple and easy for your outside meal. So what we have here is all of our cut veggies that we did inside, traveled with it. We have all of our dry ingredients and we have all of our wet ingredients. So all you have to do is cook up your veggies, add the wet ingredients, add the dry ingredients and there you go. So what we're, we're, we're going to be starting here by warming up our cast iron. Adding our coconut oil. So coconut oil is a really good oil for camping and fires because it can actually sustain a lot of heat. So it's like a, a, a safe oil to cook with. You can actually cook with ghee too, it's one of my favorites, but not olive oil, not avocado oil. They're not as safe when it comes to high heat because you can already tell it's melting away right there. We're going to put enough oil because it's on a fire, it gets really hot, we don't want this to burn. And it's coconut oil, pretty healthy, pretty safe. We're going to be throwing in our onions. And we're starting with onions first because we want them to cook a little bit longer than the rest of the veggies. Let's check out our onions. Oh, perfect. It is time to add our veggies. Here we have celery, we have zucchini and cauliflower going right into the pot. Wonderful. stir and we'll just let it cook. Our veggies look ready. The next step will be adding the wet ingredients. In this case it's already ready so we don't have to bring a can or a can opener. It is coconut milk. Just straight up coconut milk. And a nice thick one. I like thick coconut milk. And give this a little bit of a stir. And so now for the secret ingredients. What I have here is all of my dry ingredients. Now, because it's vegetarian, I wanted to eat, add some proteins, some good fats, and some good flavor, of course. So what I have here is kind of a ground up sunflower seeds, ground up pumpkin seeds. I have some hemp hearts so that you have your omega-3, 6, and 9, and you have your healthy fats, and you have some really good flavor too. And I added the curry, so a tablespoon of curry in here. I added the ginger, I added the dry garlic and dry ginger, and I added some salt and pepper already in here. And to give it a little kick, because it's spring and we want to detoxify, we want to be it, to be uh, extra nutritious, I added some ashwagandha, which is a it's an adaptogenic that helps the body deal with stress. So I try to kind of sneak it into like my smoothies and the food that I make. So just kind of a, a, a teaspoon of ashwagandha in this mix. And I also added a teaspoon of chaga. And so chaga is going to help you detoxify the body. It's very nutritious. It's a superfood, an antioxidant, and helps boost the immune system. So you have a really healthy spring meal. So here we go adding all of our dry ingredients in there. This will also help thicken our dish so it's not too liquid. Guys, it 
is ready and it is smelling so amazing. The last part of it is fresh cilantro. Now, because it is springtime, what I would have done if I had some greens growing around me, I would have maybe added or replaced the cilantro with some dandelion greens. Really digging into the forest to see what's growing and what I can add in here. You have uh, plantain, you have fiddleheads, you have wild onions. Be creative, put a little bit in. If it's not good, you'll know for the next time. Now, to finish off, I'm going to put this in my bowl and top it off with some avocado. Again, some extra fat and extra flavor to make it creamy and good. I love avocado. And as you can see, the nuts really thicken the recipe. So because we're not having it with rice and it's just veggies, you want kind of a nice consistency, not too dry, not too liquid. It is actually perfect. Now for the taste test. This is the moment of glory. Mm. So much better than it actually looks. This is really, really yummy. Perfect recipe. So hopefully you try this out while you're camping and hopefully you enjoy it as much as we do. Now, for the next video, the minimalist campers are just gonna share our secret to our chai. We have pretty famous chai. A lot of people have tried it and just loved it. So our next video, since this is something that we drink when we're camping almost all the time, we're going to be sharing our recipe with you. Mmm. Mmm. Life is so good. See you next time, everyone.